FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, and last, and it refers to how to take two binomials and multiply them together to get a single quadratic equation. Many quadratic expressions, like 6x squared plus 7x minus 3, are the result of multiplying two binomials, or two terms separated by addition and subtraction, together. You can undo the multiplication by factoring them. But what does FOIL really stand for? The letters each refer to two terms, one from each of two binomials, multiplied together in a certain order. The steps don't have to be done in this order, but they usually are. Otherwise, the acronym would be something like OFL, heaven forbid. Here's what each letter in the FOIL acronym stands for. F stands for the first term in each binomial. In this case, the 3a and 2a. O stands for the two outermost terms, those farthest to the left and right, the 3a and 1. I stands for the inner terms in the middle and L stands for the last term in each binomial. Here's how to use FOIL on a multiplication problem. First, multiply the first term, the F, of each binomial together. Second, multiply the outer terms together. And third, multiply the inner or I terms together. Fourth, multiply the last term of each expression together. And finally, list the four results of FOIL in order. Now combine the like terms. This example is a bit more complicated, but FOIL makes it much easier. The tasks are broken down into smaller, simpler tasks, and then the results are combined for the final result. Here are the steps. Just like before, the first step is to multiply the first terms. Then, multiply the outer terms. Third, multiply the inner terms. Fourth, multiply the last terms. The last terms are two binomials, too. You FOIL these binomials when you finish this series of FOIL steps. Fifth, list the four results of FOIL in order, and finally, combine like terms. Notice the product of two binomials from step four. You can FOIL them. This is probably starting to sound familiar. First, multiply the first terms. Second, multiply the outer terms. Third, multiply the inner terms. Fourth, multiply the last terms, fifth, write the results in order, and then combine the like terms. Now, replace the two binomials multiplied together with this new result, and you can rewrite the entire problem. This may seem complicated, but using FOIL is actually easier than doing all the distributing. And sticking with the acronym keeps you from accidentally forgetting to multiply one pair of terms.